What is going on everybody? Welcome back, MTG here with another episode. If you're new to the channel, hi there. Today I have here the iPhone 13 Pro Max and I wanna talk about why I went ahead and bought this device. We have the 13 mini, we have the 13, the 13 Pro and the 13 Pro Max. You guys saw my channel, I bought the iPhone 13 mini as well as the iPhone 13 Pro Max. The reason for the 13 mini was quite simple. I have the 12 mini and I wanted to do a comparison and kind of see what they did as upgrades to the 12 mini from last year. But the 13 Pro Max is a is a first max device for me, the largest iPhone I've ever used. I've used the 8 Plus for maybe like three, four weeks and then I did end up returning it. I wasn't a huge fan of it. But I wanna talk about why I am switching my 12 mini as my main iPhone device to the iPhone 13 Pro Max. But before I do begin, I really appreciate if you give this video a thumbs up and turn on the bell notifications as it does help out the YouTube algorithm and will help push my content out to more people. Guys, this is being filmed. Uh, right up here is the iPhone 13 mini and right here is the iPhone 12 mini. Let me know about the quality and the B-roll that you might see in this video will be obviously shot with my Canon uh, T7i. I hope I'm planning to upgrade. That didn't make sense. I hope to plan to upgrade to a newer camera, to a Sony, hopefully soon. We'll see, but that's really not um, the topic of this video. Let's dive right in and talk about why I bought the iPhone 13 Pro Max. All right, so the first reason is surprise, surprise. This is not actually sarcasm. This is actually serious. It's the cameras. Uh, for the longest time, I didn't really care too much about my smartphone cameras. I mean, look, I got the Z Flip 3. It's not the greatest camera. It's good. It gets the job done, but it's not, you know, the latest and greatest. Uh, but this is probably one of the this is probably one of the, the biggest reasons why. I do have other reasons why I picked up this device, but the Pro and Pro Max, I could have went with the Pro, but um, I'll get into a reason why I didn't go with the Pro. This one is the cameras. It's got all new camera lenses, got new software and this and that. Um, it's got macro photography on the Pro and Pro Max models. They have macro photography, but I really did look into this and say, hey, I can use this phone as my iPhone of choice and also for the channel, for the work I do. So picking up this phone with this set of, you know, uh, camera lenses was the reason why I picked it up. I'll be putting up some photos and samples of the, of camera images that I took with this phone on screen, but it's, it's great. Now with the iPhone 13 series lineup, uh, you're going to be getting the cinematic mode that we've been seeing with a lot of uh, videos and uh, YouTubers putting up their take on cinematic mode but it's pretty much kind of portrait video mode um, i think it's great i'm going to be trying to implement it as much as i can in my future videos um, as well at, like in the work that i do but that's throughout the entire 13 series lineup the other one is what we call macro photography and this one is using the telephoto lens uh, this is not present on the iphone 13 mini and the iphone 13 only on the pro and pro max so do keep that in mind but when we look at macro photography, you can get, you know, super close to a subject and take a picture of that. You cannot do that with the iPhone 13 or 13 mini. And you can use macro, to, macro photography in a video as well. And I'm just going to get actually, I'm going to get super close into my Apple wallet right here. That is very close. Like, look at that. So I'm going to take a picture and there we go i mean just just look at that it's so close and so detailed that is just a super clean shot right there a super clean photo with macro photography that's probably one of you know the main reasons why because all the camera upgrades with the 13 series lineup um and honestly i mean look at look at this camera lens though like this whole camera cut is huge compared to the 12 pro max and even the 11 pro max because they have a similar uh camera cutout but it's surprising to hear about what well, hey you you don't use camera video or you don't use your camera on your smartphone too often well it's going to change from here on out. I mean, you're seeing I'm recording with two iPhones right here and it's only going to just, you know, move on from here. Guys, if you're picking up an iPhone, uh, whether it's the new 13 series or probably want to go with the 12 series, this is the perfect time, especially 
Forget the 12, especially if you're picking up the iPhone 13 series, whether it be the 13 mini or the 13 Pro Max or the 13 Pro or even just the regular 13, this is a perfect time to pick up that smartphone and start recording and upload some content. There's no other perfect time. Obviously, it's going to be even better next year and the year after that. But right now is the perfect time to pick up a smartphone, your new iPhone and start recording, start uploading. I mean, you're the more you wait, the more opportunities you're going to be losing out on. So if you're going to pick up a new iPhone, you have probably one of the best cameras right now in your pocket. So that's probably one of the, one of the main reasons why I decided to buy the iPhone 13 Pro Max, use it in my uh, daily work. Now, as you guys know, I do rock two smartphones. My Android of choice right now is the Galaxy Z Flip 3. I made a video of why I switched to this awesome phone. So be sure to check that video. I'll leave the link in the description down below. But let's move on to reason number two. Okay, so reason number two is very simple. You may not be able to see it on screen right now, but I definitely recommend uh, going to an Apple store or your Best Buy store or your local, uh, your carrier store, whether it be T-Mobile or AT&T or Verizon and check out the new iPhone 13 Pro Max and the 13 Pro has this feature too. But that is display. We're finally, finally, finally getting 120 hertz ProMotion, a refresh rate of 120 hertz. And this is a variable refresh rate. So if I'm right now, I'm scrolling. Yes, I have that 120 hertz. Uh, I can feel it. But let's say, I mean, I'm reading some text um, and whatnot, then it's not going to be as fast. You know, you're not going to notice that 120 hertz is going to drop its variable refresh rate. So there's that. I mean, Android phones have had it for a couple of years now. The Z Flip 3 also has 120 hertz. The original Z Flip did not. The Galaxy S series did. OnePlus had it. They start off with 90 hertz and now they have 120 hertz. But we've been waiting a couple of years for our iPhones to get 120 hertz. So that is great. It can drop down to 10 hertz and go up to 120 hertz. And now, as of right now, since this is still new tech in the iPhone, a lot of third-party developers have yet to optimize their apps for 120 hertz, and we'll be seeing that soon. But that is one of the main things. You're getting a much, much brighter display, a much uh, faster display, let's put it that way, because of that refresh rate. And also, um, you're going to ask, well, the 13 Pro has that too. But I don't have the 30 Pro in hand. It has a 6.1 inch display. It is smaller. Uh, and I want to get the most use of the iPhone display and 120 hertz and when I'm editing photos and whatnot. So I decided to go with the Pro Max display. It has the largest display and it has that 120 hertz refresh rate. So if you're asking why I went with the Pro Max over the Pro, it's because of its larger display as well as a larger battery, which is reason number three. It is the largest battery of any iPhone right now. That's it, period. Like I, I took this out of charge last night and I didn't really use it. I used it just a little bit. And right now you take a look at it. It's 1155. I've been using this pretty intensively. It's at 89%, 89%. This standby time on this is awesome. Just, it's it's amazing. Um, wow, this case is pretty hard to take out. Standby mode is great. I absolutely love it. Uh, charging is also fast. It has 20 watts. Um, so you have no issue there when you're charging. But the battery, because the battery is so large and so big, I decided to say, hey, this is going to last me long. I'm a heavy user. I know the 13 Pro will last a pretty long time, but this is going to last much longer. Because of that larger battery, though, it's a thick foam. It's huge. It's heavy. But after using it for a couple of days, you get used to it. So there shouldn't be any worries. I mean, but first impressions, when you do pick it up, you're gonna be like, wow, this is a heavy, thick phone, but it's worth it for the battery. A15 Bionic chip it has iOS 15. It's going to optimize its battery use really well. And it has a larger battery itself. So you're going to be getting great battery life. And that's one of the main reasons why I picked up the 3T Pro Max to switch over as my main iPhone over the 12 mini. And last but not least is the ecosystem. I'm going to put it out there because yes, I could I could rock you know just an Android device. I can rock maybe even two Android devices. Use one as my main, like use a Z Flip three as my main, and then use a testing device like the Pixel five A or an upcoming Android device. Who knows? But the reason why I do one 
iOS and one Android is because of that ecosystem. I have an Apple Watch. I obviously have other watches too, but I have the Apple Watch. I now have the iPad mini um, and I also use my MacBook Pro as my main my main uh, computer. So when I'm editing photos and editing videos, I am directly sending my photos right now to my iPhone and hopefully later on to my iPad and then editing them and then bring them back to my MacBook where I upload them as thumbnails and whatnot. Um, and I hopefully plan on completely editing photos on my iPad later in the future, working on an iPad setup uh, as we speak. Still getting used to using this iPad. Its form factor is amazing, but that's for a different video. So now that I have an iPad, I have an iPhone, and I have a MacBook as my main device, just seamlessly using AirDrop works amazing. Like I'm going to finish uh, recording this video right here and just AirDrop both of these clips onto my MacBook Pro and just put them into Final Cut Pro and edit them right away. And also the ecosystem. A lot of people are using iMessage. A lot of people that I communicate, almost 95% of the people I communicate are using iMessage. So, so it's just a lot easier to communicate with the friends and family that use iPhones as well. Ecosystem is, Apple is really kind of pulling you once you get into that ecosystem it is difficult to kind of you know get out of the ecosystem but it's not necessarily a bad thing it's great that every single product you have really does work together i also do have airpods pros and everything is just working together i can switch from my audio listening from my airpods pro on the iphone directly to the ipad mini and to the macbook pro whenever i need to so it's great to see that all these products are working together seamlessly that's the big thing they're working together the key word here is seamlessly and that's really why i have this apple ecosystem and specifically why um, i continue to use an iphone as my secondary as my uh, I can use a review device as like an Android as my secondary device, but I use the iPhone as my secondary device. And also do keep note, once in a while, since I do use an Android and an iPhone, I will switch my SIM back and forth to kind of uh, use one as a daily and then switch back to the other. But these are my two main devices that I use, an iPhone and an Android. So there we go. That's, that's really it. Uh, I could have went with the 13 Pro, but like I said, it has a larger display um, and it has a bigger battery. That's the reason why I went over, I chose the Pro Max over the Pro. But that's pretty much been it. Um, if you're looking for a Apple's latest and greatest, largest battery, largest display, amazing cameras, iPhone 13 Pro Max is the reason why you should pick this up. I thought about returning it at first, but after I unboxed it, I started using it more and more. I, I, I realized that this is a device that I can use obviously for my daily life, but also for the work that I put out here on YouTube. And this is all thanks to you guys. I sincerely, every video I'm thanking you guys because it's literally, this is all possible because of you guys and for supporting the channel. Thank you all so much. Uh, for watching this video. I hope you guys did enjoy and I'll catch you guys in the very next episode. Anyway, everybody, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, be sure to superman that like button, comment down below because with the more interactions we get on this video, not only helps the video and the channel, but also pushes the video out to more viewers. And best of all, superman that subscribe button. Until next time, everybody, and until next video, this is MTG.